Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Phasmophobia. There's a new challenge out this week. Came out two days ago. So I think that'll be what we're doing today. I'm not sure what it is yet, so let's see. Alright, hide and seek extreme. The ghost wants to play a game, you better hide. <laughs> well, that sounds awful. <laughs> We're doing it on Camp Woodwind, which also is not necessarily my favorite map. I mean, it's probably better than Edgefield. Uh, I'm guessing it's just going to be like zero sanity. Yeah, there's zero sanity. Oh, the breaker starts on. Interesting. Hunting Brian Lavender, or I guess we're being hunted by Brian Lavender, if we're being real here. Smudge, motion sensor, parabolic mic. Easy peasy. I think, honestly. There's the phone. Fuck. No, there we go. These barn doors are, are always pretty weird for me. Oh, motherfucker turned off the breaker! Where's my lights? Oh, the flashlight doesn't work? Bastard. Yeah. Uh... There's no smudge sticks? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Damn it. Um, alright. Well, that's sucky. I'll give it a look see to see if I can spot any orbs in the distance. Don't quite know where the ghost is. So I don't see a hiding spot over there or there. This isn't the no hiding spots challenge too, right? So I'm not seeing one not seeing one there either. Fuck. Is this like heavy rain too? Okay, so we can't light the campfire. <sighs> okay, I see how it is. Oh, it's a rev neck. There's some jobs ready for you. God damn it. Fucking rev first try, are you serious? Oh, it's not locked in heavy rain. Okay. Then we could like circle around the fireplace, I guess. Or the fire pit, I mean. We don't know what it's capable of. Guess I'll just grab random shit and run over to it. Wait, there is hiding spots. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna hide in this one. Alright, it's hunting now. That's a normal speed ghost. Actually, its footsteps sound kind of slow. It's been a little while since I've 
played Phasma though, so I'm not like... fully sensitive to... sound levels. Speed levels. I want to get more equipment, but I'm paranoid of going up front. I guess we can always loop it. It's going to be hunting any moment now, though. Right? Yeah, there we go. It's the same speed as last time. Maybe towards the end of this... Hunt, we'll try kiting it around. Did it speed up? I felt like it sped up the second it saw me. of three fingerprints gonna Fuck if it was Rev again. Oh yes. I'm a fucking giga brain. It did speed up when it saw us because it was far away. Well <laughs> I think it still counts if even if you lose. Uh so I guess I'll go again. It's another daytime excursion. Looks like we've got that central hiding spot, which is nice. I think, as always, I'm going to want to try to video cam snipe it from afar. I think I heard a sound on my left. So there's no barrels, and this hiding spot's not here this time. Guess we just... Rush in and wait. Wait for it to hunt. I think there's like a 15 second window in between hunts <laughs> to get evidence. We'll have the opportunity to listen for sound differences. Yeah, it's normal speed. Is this your tent? Fingerprints? Got it. Please don't shut. Thank you. Am 
might be worth doing some truck camping just so we see uh, if there's EMF 5. Well, let's see. So it's a fingerprints ghost. Don't think it's a hauntu. Haven't checked if it's a phantom or gin yet. Uh, it might not be in that tent, so we can't rule out Mimic. <laughs> Are you kidding me with the zero activity? Come on, just do something. <sighs> what other evidence can we bring in? I guess some books and spirit box. Should have seen if there was other hunting spots. Guess I'll just rush to the same one. Can you talk? Can you speak? Where are you? How old are you? Probably not spear box. I'm just gonna hope it's not a spear box because I fucking. Spear box next to it multiple times at this point. doing this a little bit too early. I think it might be a banshee. It's certainly like sticking on me pretty hard. What's banshee's evidences? Fingerprints, orbs, dots projector. We still don't know if this is its orb zone. Okay, got an EMF-4 spike while we're not even there. So that could be an EMF-5. If it is, then uh, it's not a Banshee. It'd be a Jin, Goryeo, or Obake. Um, yeah, it's definitely a 4 spike. Definitely not hearing, not seeing any orbies. If it's still in that one tent, then maybe it's a Gorio? Turned off the light in there. No, I think that was just because of a hunt. No, I think I saw something move in there. Yeah, there's no way it's not even. I mean, it could be... Mm, pretty sure it's not EMF-5. I mean, it could have been an EMF-3 spike that uh, 
bumped up to EMF 4. The thing with the EMF chart is that it's always like one off. Or frequently is one off. You don't need the crucifix. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we just get in there. We'll do the campfire thing, actually. It's a little bit of a high risk play, but I've successfully used it before. Basically, if you keep the fire in between you and the ghost, you can just hide from it. So we'll be able to see, look for hunt testing things. It'll be a little bit hard to see the ghost, but yeah, it's costume business. What a dumbass. Oh, thank goodness. It's not a choreo. It's, I didn't know what room it was in. How did I know it's no bake? Well, it's simple. It changed ghost models uh, for one flicker during the hunt. Oh, I feel so good. It could be... No, it can't be. Hell yes. And we didn't die. Easy peasy. Easiest challenge of my life. We've got one more success to win this challenge. I think I might even start with the campfire thing. By the way, I don't know if the campfire thing works uh, if the fire's not on. test. Maybe we'll get unlucky. <laughs> uh, excuse me? It's right there. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. You know what, we'll start with the barrels. Work our way up to the campfire test. I don't want the motherfucker to just, like, hunt on top of me. Shards real quick. Okay, no EMF 5 spikes, one EMF 3, which is within normal bounds. <sighs> the ghost seems pretty active. We're looking for 4 slash 6 slash 5 spikes for the EMF 5. Doesn't look like we're getting it. Mm, this is 3. All right, I'm gonna do a hunt test now. So it'd be nice for it. Okay, that was just ghost spent. Yeah, I'm 
planted right on top of us. Pretty sure it was in the Revenant. It was a Revenant? Why didn't it speed up at all? Well, whatever. You know, if it was a Diogen, I was actually thinking of doing another run. That would have been too easy. I'm a little bit pissed off, though. I fucking ran out to the fucking Revenant's arms. It's so ass. Okay, it's light rain. Give myself the spear box. It's pretty amazing that we got two revs in a row. Or not, not like in a row in a row, but. You know, in the same like series of three missions or so. Maybe it couldn't see me over the campfire still. I might have <laughs> I might have fled the spot too early. No, it was a Hantu. Damn it. The Hantu is really fast on that map. I'm getting my ass beat. What the hell? Oh, if it's a Hantu, it's going to be even fucking faster on this map. Okay, we need a we need to hide in an actual hiding spot. Maybe. Actually, I'm not seeing any hiding spots. I'm gonna go for the campfire once again. Got unlucky last time. That's all that happened. Should have known that I was gonna blow out the campfire, or that was a possibility. Just hurry up and hunt. Fuck, there's no hiding spots available. Got me, Fan. Get absolutely fucking roasted. That is hilarious. What a chump. Could be a mimic. I don't know if it's a mimic, that'd be pretty pretty wild. Oh man, it spawned right on top of me. That was fucked up. There we go. There's some jobs ready for you. That's the weekly challenge mode. It's basically just the uh, do a hunt test challenge for the most part. I guess it's possible to get enough evidence. If you just like make use of the windows in between the hunts. But like 60% of the ghosts in the game, you can just hunt test them, so. Huh. Yeah, that's a fun challenge. 
It would have been Hell on Edgefield. I think I said that before. I'm trying to think of other maps where it would be cool. I like Willow Street House. I guess the camp map is the most, like, circular map. I think against a normal ghost, you might be able to, like, kite it around the central donut of the map. Which is something I didn't really make use of. I really like the campfire <laughs> hiding spot thingy. It's so good. Yeah, proof. Proof of this challenge. I don't think I was playing my best, but I do think uh, it was enough as well. So that was awesome. But I wasn't like stuck there for an hour just hiding and shit. Sometimes that happens when you're like out of Sandy. But I mean, I mean, part of a uh, the reason that didn't happen is because it's challenge mode. I'm not gonna lose equipment. If the ghost gets me, it gets me. So there's less pressure, uh, which is what I like about challenge mode. Yeah. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Phasmophobia. Goodbye!